Let's examine how we can change the view of the screen using a tool that's been there forever, literally. And that's the Zoom tool, right down here. When we select it, we get options. But before we get to the options as part of the interface, let's go to Preferences, because there's some new features and preferences for the Zoom tool. Start with Photoshop Preferences, General, or if you're on a Windows box, Edit Preferences, General. Same stuff, just a different place. They like to confuse us. In General Preferences, we have Animated Zoom. That means when you use the Zoom tool by clicking, it looks like it's expanding out like a movie. It's an animated zoom. Zoom resizes windows will only work if you're working with images that are in windows, not tabs. Zoom with the scroll wheel, if you want to use that. I don't. I use the scroll wheel for something else. And zoom click point to center. I like that one because that means when I click, it'll zoom to center from where I'm clicking. Let's go ahead and get out of here. With our zoom tool selected, we have some options up here. Number one, you have another place to resize windows to fit right there. That again will only work if you're working with windows with your images and not tabs like we are. Zoom all windows is kind of interesting because I can come over here and I can begin clicking and zooming in. See how it looks like it's animating the zoom as it goes forward? If I hold the Alt key down, I can go backwards. Most people know that one. But if I want to zoom them all, I've got three images here. They're all at 16.7% zoom. If I click Zoom All Windows, clicking here zooms them all at the same time. And that saves you a bit of time if you want to use it. Let's go ahead and go to one of them and go back with the Alt key and go back down to. This one's kind of interesting. This was introduced in no, version 5, Photoshop CS5. It's called Scrubby Zoom. Now, when you turn it on, you got to watch what you're doing with the Zoom tool. Number one, if I click and hold my mouse, I'm not zooming, I'm just holding the mouse down. If I hold the Alt key down and hold my mouse down, it will do that. But that's not all. Dragging to the left, dragging to the right, decreasing or increasing as you drag. If you leave it selected now, it won't change unless you drag left or right. So remember, if you just click and hold your mouse down, it's going to automatically begin enlarging, or if you're holding the Alt key down, subtracting the image. So you've got all these different ways to change the zoom. Now you can change it down here. That's not really a zoom tool, that's a number. It says it's 16.44, and you want it at exactly 20%. You could type in 20 and press the Enter key, and it'll change it to 20%. You do have four buttons up here. You have actual pixels, fit to screen, fill the screen, and print size. Each one of those can be used. For example, I like to see the actual pixels of the image because that's more like what it's going to look like when it prints. I want to see what it looks like so I get a good idea before I commit to a print on a color print. Well, there you go. Different ways to use the zoom tool, no big deal few new features under Preferences, but we use these tools to do what? Change the view of what we see. On to the next.